All right, so I'm not entirely, I've never done a sand seal before, but I have all my pulley shims in there. I have this with four shims, so it's out kind of as far as I want it to go. And, um, you know, because it's shims, I know on the other side, you definitely put some oil um, in there. Just, I'm gonna put a drip of oil uh, back there just for the, you know, for the startup, but I'm not going to overdo it so it gets messy. Um, so that's just to get it. A little bit in there. I mean, I don't know. I don't want the thing to burn out yet at the same time. You know, this is the pulley side. Okay, so now I have this thing, which is the sand seal. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, take some Permatex. And I'm not, not sure that you have to uh, use Permatex on this, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, take some Permatex and I'm going to, it's gonna go this way. So I'm gonna put a little bit on the outside of this. Side of the sand seal. This stuff is so gross. Comes with the stickiness. A little bit there. And then I'm going to put a little bit in the engine case itself. Just make sure that I don't get any or much on any kind of moving parts. This is really just to seal the seal the sand seal. I don't want any oil coming out. And this is sort of a half-assed job, but looks, I think it'll work. We'll see. Sometimes I have to redo stuff, which is a pain, but it looks that looks good enough. I mean, there's a tiny bit on the on there, but okay. So this guy is going to fit right there, and best way for me to get that on there is probably with some kind of a little tiny mallet. I'm gonna try it like this, and we'll see if it works. in there. Let's see if uh using a little Allen wrench here that's flat. Push it all the way in. Alright. Now what I've noticed this is <laughs> carb cleaner, but I've, uh, I've noticed that if you just get a little bit of this stuff, I don't know if it's the bleach or whatever, I just take a tiny bit of that and I just go around the outside of this. Anytime I have extra Permatex on there, you'll see that it just cleans it right off. So, without getting any in the actual, in there, okay, so. That should be good. Let me just make sure on this one side here, it's a little high. But I think that's, I think that's good. Oh, that's a totally valid idea there. Hit it with a kind of a socket wrench. So the question is, is, does this fit on it now? And do I still have the end play? Um, 
mentioned on the inside of that, I'm just going to put a little bit of, a bit more now. Remember this is inside the sand seal now. A little oil in there. And now I'm going to take this pulley, I'm going to stick it on there. Pull it on all the way. I already have my um, lock on the other side for the uh, flywheel, so I can go ahead and take this and bolt this down. Now, I'm pretty much almost guaranteed that I'm going to have to redo this. I've ne almost never do I do this the first time and think that I'm not going to have to redo it, but I'm going to just pretend like this is the... Pretend like this is actually it. Okay, so I have to just let this thing to stay. Big long socket. All right, that's in, it's just tightened to a kind of, you know, a moderate torque level. Let's see if I take the flywheel lock off and then I turn it. The question is, is do I still have a noticeable end plate? And I do, it's exactly like before, which means I'm not binding anything up here. So, it's good, I'm happy with that. Now that that's in, let's just check one more time with this. And add this. We'll just look at the, uh, basically the, how this lines up and it's, you know, it's pretty straight. It may be going off this way just a tiny bit. I can't take any more shims off of that, but I don't really know how it's gonna wind up in the end because shroud and everything's not in, so.